Hello, I am Radagast at your service. So, um, this is kind of this is a follow up, really, on last on last night, yesterday's um, call to uh, to rescue, <laughs> and um, so it came out that because um, this is all based on Dave on Dave Schmidt's um, report that he put out just before he left. And hearing that certain people that were now considering friends that were not feeling well, it seemed, and given the nature of what could be the problem, um, a call to action, uh, an assistance to friends, um, just generally uh, acting as one, and autonomous and sovereign, most importantly, um, we, some of us decided to um, go, go have a look at what might be going on there. And especially a lot of us had personal investment because it seemed that being tied into a certain um, energy that's developing, and in this case, I would call it um, the liberation of humanity energy, that, um, where was I going? Well, okay, where I was going was about that this could have been a false alarm. And, um, Although, but, so the whole thing was just showing up great. So false alarm or not, um, as far as I'm concerned, and we don't know it was a false alarm, but if it was, we still showed up great. Um, and I have, I'm actually going to read some, um, I got some, I got some reports. I mean, I didn't solicit any, but I got them anyway. And um, so, you know, false alarm or practice makes perfect. Now, one of the things that I really saw an immediate benefit from, even before, even before there was possible that the ambassador and the Red Dragon family were not under any kind of energetic duress, um, that there was still the, um, the, the win for me of, again, a response and also intent. Now, let's say if you had friends who you heard could use a little assistance and you show up, and assistance is not necessary, the gesture of assistance is still, is still able to be made. And in a time of building bridges between um, supposedly different camps, um, acts of goodwill are just that. And, um, and it can be recorded accordingly. Now, I, there's, there's no doubt that all of these various entities of, el of like any family, including institutions, have um, magicians, for a better word. And that is something that hasn't really um, been addressed in many ways by us. We've been, you know, focusing on, on what's going on in the third dimensional world. And there's a little, uh, because of the dynamics, things like guns, billy clubs, tasers, pepper spray, and other things, um, movement can be a little messier if one wants to move. But in the magical or fourth dimensional world where so much is going on, the, uh, the ability to insert oneself is much more autonomous and allows people to, to express a spirit um, that is inhibited in the physical. Because in the physical, the fact that we um, can die is an inhibitor. On the fourth dimension, things roll a little differently. And um, so practice makes perfect. For many, including myself, a kind of battle, I use that, and I do say that word with some reservation only because of, of the nature of what is really going on as a like battle. Um, but the practice was very good for a lot of people. And I think I, just for a second, let me, um, somebody wrong, from the forum I participate um, in, there are some people who I know are good healers. And the interesting thing is that a part of the response was from people who normally do healing energy. And uh, so I get something, what I experienced, 
and um, want to exp um, share what I experienced att um, when attempting to help the situation with the Red Dragons Ambassador and with the intent of sending energy to aid you in your efforts as well. What happened was different than anything I had experienced before. I received images and felt directed in my attempts. Images are normal for me, but not when sending energy. And she goes, I'm not going to read it all, but she, she mentions how she grounded it and whatever, and then she got images. And um, she saw, she saw me, <laughs> which is interesting. But, um, and then she, she shifted her gaze to the, um, to the west, because she was focusing over China. And then hung over Europe, and then moved further west. And this is, to me, some intel. Um, the image she was looking, okay, so she's in Europe looking west, which means looking towards the United States. That image was replaced with an image of the U.S. with a huge dark gray, thick puffy cloud hanging over the whole of the continental U.S. Above the cloud stood a group of mages, she has um, quotations, attacking toward the east. That would mean towards Europe. At first, I started throwing. Well, I won't get into that. And uh, okay, once her gaze, and then she was. Anyway, she did. She did some work. I don't want to get into people's work because that's not people's work is their work. Uh, I'm glad to have sh have it shared with me. And um, it's really so. She uh, kind of concludes with, "I don't know what to make of all of this. It could all be crap." I much prefer sending energy in my normal fashion. At least that doesn't leave me feeling drained with a dull headache like I've had since this morning. Had to share with someone. It was just too weird. I would be comforted should you inform me it was all in my head make believe in that I need help. <laughs> Which is kind of, that's not, I mean, this is what, what I love about this is, again, the absolute giving of self the fearlessness of of doing something that one has never done before and the innate creativity of the anthropos to figure something out when arriving at a situation not even knowing what to do and that that real sense of who we are is not needing to be instructed but to self-instruct based on what one feels one can do in any given situation i mean this is just so brilliant and i have i mean humans humans are just incredibly mystical and that is really part of why we are given fluoride mercury and vaccines that could be a lot less controversial if mercury weren't in them um you know the gmos um you know depleted produce and as and as um Alex Jones says on his Infowars, it's a war for your mind. And so when we get into the four, now of course a big part of that war for your mind comes from a television. If we, can, if we could do something about either stopping it or changing what comes across that TV, um, things would change uh, enormously. But our human mysticism is something that is, is there definitely have tried to keep down. Because the moment we become the mystics we are, and we're mystics generally, I mean, that's who the Anthropos is. I mean, we are, we are it, that is what is, I mean, everybody goes, oh, it's our God seed. It's really our ability not only to access that, but to live into the, and, and to grow into that world and operate in that world. And this is a world they've kind of had to themselves. The, four, you know, the fourth dimensional world, we have we've been we have been living a 3D experience, and now this. I mean, a lot of people have been doing great work. I mean, we did, we went through the whole last hurricane season without any major hurricanes. I mean, it was a dead season, and that's because a lot of people who realized they could do something about hurricanes have now made a practice of it. I mean, it's regular people who just know they can have something to do with hurricanes, and we just went through a hurricane. The, the as far as I know, the lowest hurricane season I've ever followed. So there's. There is this incredible group of people starting to arise. And what was so beautiful about yesterday, false alarm or not, about showing up great is again, healers, just a, a normal healer, somebody who's used to sending somebody energy or Reiki, has never engaged in any kind of battle, shows up and then figures out how to respond. 
and is not the worst for wear. A headache is, I mean, I, well, I didn't read everything, but I can see a few things she did that would create a headache. Um, so, and then I have an, I had another um, report, again, unsolicited, from somebody, a gentleman, this, but I happened to delete their email. But I just, you know, it was, there was de some detail and again, the techniques used. But he, and this is another person who does Reiki largely. Coming out of the normal healing mode and entering into the energetic mode and working with it from a creative place. Like people heard me say, can, can I, you know, can you help? And I was kind of in tied into that and people showed up great. It, it's, it, I, I mean, it was just so heartwarming. Now I came out the better for wear. Um, I spent the, the better part of yesterday uh, working and um, had a great session outside where the, for me, the best guy in magic works. Um, and fortunately the two people who um, I, I rent a room from were both away at work. So um, shouting commands and s the stomping of my staff um, wasn't theater and because, um, you know, if you, it's, it's just the kind of thing that it's best to be alone in the woods with. And it, um, it was a very, very powerful day. I got re-energized, managed to break whatever grip was had on me. Um, just prior to uh, doing this video, I could feel it, but I went to... Um, I stood inside. I've created um, a what I call a guy in portal. I started a few weeks ago. And it was yesterday when I went outside to do my work that I realized, oh, that's what we're going to use you for. I wasn't sure. I mean, I've been feeding it. It's been getting a lot more coherent. It has a certain pulse to it. But uh, yesterday, it got used quite well. It was just an amazing thing to be able to work through, um, to use to stand in, th in a 3D place and be able to enter into a four-dimensional um, area and have uh, a certain amount of uh, coherence because of what the portal provided. It was really fascinating. Um, and then, so this other, so I responded to this person who wrote, who, uh, whose um, report I just read to you. And uh, what I said back was confidence builds amongst us and informs the shadow that it will be seen thereby, thereby limited by that light. And what I was trying to tell her is basically we showed up and in, in an area that we're not normally active in, the Anthropos, you know, humanity is not normally active in that, and a lot got seen. And just being seen is, is huge. It breaks a huge part of the spell. It's, you know, like the Wizard of Oz kind of thing. So there was an exposure that um, the, these, this type of energy, which seems to be coming from the United States, from that cloud and all that energy being directed east. Um, so being seen is really crucial. I mean, because what, what we're dealing with isn't so much evil as this antagonistic shadow energy. Um, that is always testing boundaries of the organism that will consider itself good. Now, any organism will consider itself good in its own autonomy. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to get back. I mean, we understand. We're, again, we're mystics. So, there's, the, you can get into that place, oh, it's all, uh, it's, all equal, um, it's all equal, but it isn't when you have an idea of what you like and you invest, now you invest your will into it to create a boundary where how you'd like reality to be with what mixture of shadow, whatever, is, is defined actually by your boundary and anything like any, like a cell. A cell is, is things about going out of the cell and in the cell, but it's controlled by the membrane. And that membrane is your autonomous boundary, okay? And then the immune competence is again, wisdom. All right, the heart, the thymus, the heart with the will. And so oper operating from that, so we get into, we get into, into, the, into the fourth uh, our organism. I, I realize I got lost for a second. So we've got the organism and the boundaries. So the whole, the, the dynamic really isn't so much about um, battle, 
in, in its real sense, is it's we're now, the fourth dimension is a place we're now starting to reclaim, just like we need to reclaim the 3D Earth. But right now, we're actually freer to start working in that area. And for me, what yesterday represented the call, you know, the false, uh, the pra you know, the false alarm. I'm calling practice makes perfect. Was it was it a, a, almost like an Im immune response? And an immune response into a into a, a layer of a reality because the fourth dimension is part of our multi-dimensional body, and it's part of Gaia's body also, of which we are inside of. So this was a, like an immune response into an area that is usually not very well managed by the um, the immune system and the immune system is little is what is the the boundaries the identified boundaries of uh, of an of an organism saying what is allowed in and what is not through the wisdom of that blue the blue green color that wisdom of uh, of having the knowledge and having the will to enact on it so um so I said, that was my response. Confidence builds amongst us and informs the shadow that it will be seen, thereby, thereby limited by that light. And the reply was, yes, it is confidence I lack, yet your mention of them being seen confirm, confirms my visions and, also, and I always seek confirmation. Confirmation of this battle has been forthcoming as well, seeing five, five, fives everywhere, like I used to see 11, 11s and more. Um, I am practiced at healing and protection and small circumstances. This was the first large scale event for me. Practice makes perfect. We'll happily join you and others in battle again when necessary. <laughs> I mean, that's, for me, that's touch, I mean, that's just amazingly touching to have, um, the joy of growing in our abilities to define what is ours, what we, what we will settle for, and, and, and then mark our boundaries. Now this is where, it's, this is where it kind of gets to find what is or not battle. To, to have one's boundaries then means that in the periphery, we are agreeing through our, by keeping, um, by being immuno, Im, immunocompetent within our boundary, that there will always be this kind of antagonism against our very survival. It is the nature of things. It's kind of like a test. Um, and then if you, if you can get past the test, it becomes a game. And m I really felt that much of the spirit of yesterday's um, practice, there was, a, at, least, at least from my experience, it was one of kind of great exhilaration where it's kind of you're show, showing up and people are scattering There's no, or the energies are scattering. This is not about bodies. Um, this is about clearing. This is about saying, you know, this is my membrane and you shall not pass. And um, it was very interesting. And the energies um, that I was perceiving were it was really interesting if you are at all familiar with the Harry Potter books or movies, um, but with the movies because there's the visuals, and they have something called Death Eaters, and they're kind of like these spectery type of things, and they're you know very cold and you know very negative polarity, and um, they could fill you with fear and terror and you know all this stuff, and um, and so. My experience it was of a lot of swirling combination of you know death eaters from one kind of you know if you're working with a Harry Potter because again these are amorphous and any kind of um, projection is a little bit of our own imagination and then of course the death eaters having a certain kind of Nazgul um, from Middle Earth or Return um, Lord of the Rings effect of again you know these these, these things that are swirling. And, and with bad intention, um, which again, their bad intention is, that's their role. That is the role they play. So if we play the role that we're supposed to play and play it in all the dimensions that we're capable of being in, then they're, they're, uh, from that place and from our empowered state, this becomes no more than, it's kind of like 
somebody gets in your face and, and you just very can very no no you know you know your boundaries you have no problem enforcing it you don't get emotional about it because it doesn't plug you in it isn't seen as this great threat it's simple it's a test of the boundaries and you will either respond and state your boundaries or you won't and in which case the pressure will move forward because it's that's what it's supposed to do your boundaries only as good as you define it and that's part of autonomy knowing who you are and again the having the having the wisdom to make good decisions about what is right or what is wrong and ultimately if you're really getting in into true gnosis and wisdom the the battle is gone and the game is there and it can I mean the battle can get quite the, the game can get quite intense um, and it should never be I mean using the word game is to me from a very cosmic place of gnosis but we're but when in in the experiential it's a tussle it is a tussle it's a tussle for existence but not necessary I mean it's not like this to the death unless you of course give into it because what this force rec in in the it did what this force represents is destruction again we're in the polarities we're living in somewhere between sustain okay Const you know birth destruction or construction destruction and then the sustaining of it but of course perfect sustaining is perfect and there's no movement so the whole dynamic the whole yin yang movement and of course you can see why see my movement is all kind of doing this and then you can see why that if as you're defining within an area this dynamic you would see that you would to, to capture part of that wave would be to capture the yin yang in a circle and then you would have the dark with its seed of light in there because with without that little bit of light it would kind of you know it would be absolute and then of course we have um, the light with its little seed of that and of course that's part of the dynamic pulsing it's we don't have to get into all that but the, the, again, there's a boundary, and the interest of the dot within is that each one is understands it must tolerate some antagonism within itself to be dynamic. And so the black dot in in the white part of, of the yin yang would is that acceptance of some of some antagonism. So in certain ways, right, people say acceptance of evil of evil. But it's an acceptance that evil exists, um, and then of course it's up to you and your sovereign sovereignty and maintaining of boundaries to, ident to identify what is yours and then keep what is yours. And that keeping is largely is really largely energetic. The reason why it's gotten so physical is because it has the it started at the energetic level, and I mean again this is it is this ability of humans the anthropos to not only be sovereigns on the physical plane but also to own the other dimensions and our creativity makes us unbeatable magicians because uh, we can imagine at, at the I mean our our capacity to be creative um, especially if you engage it playfully because if you get into battle you're going to adrenalize and when you adrenalize you take blood out of your frontal lobes because it goes into your muscles if you keep it gamey you you keep your wits about you and then and then you create your creativity is not lost adrenalized is not creative which is why you see the adrenalized foreign policy of the United States and how it's always having to react to its to its thoughtlessness to its just its thoughtless un, uncreative drive ahead through the fist and um, so I really what from a personal no a victory it's a personal victory of course but to me a victory for just all of us in this we'll call it the false alarm if it was we I haven't had I have had no report whether or not the ambassador wasn't feeling like this it was just that it was not as certain as I was making it but we still had the we still had the fire drill and I hope everybody felt felt really empowered 
it working at that level, knowing that you can work and also representing, being in there and also the anybody on on the other side, um, any there the magicians of the dragons had to know we were there and know that we were there to support their people. And um, that's good politics. That's very good politics. So um, I guess I'll close on that. I could have got, oh, I could have gone off in so many things. And I don't, also I'm born under the sign of the dragon. I am a, a Chinese dragon. So um, this is all an interesting trip. So I guess I'll leave that. I, um, I have a, um, an interview to do later on today and we'll get into that in the future, I guess. So before all else, I see the God within you.